Hi, my name is Valentina Torres. I'm the co-creator of Identity, and we made this for a documentary showcase for Viary TV, and we just kind of follow three teenagers through their hobbies and passions, and we hope you enjoy. Thank you. Shortcut. Do documentary. I would describe my personal style as flexible because it changes with each project that I get. Hello, my name is Mercedes Pagan. I'm 16 years old. So I didn't know whether I wanted to design clothes for sure until this year. And it's kind of silly because I've been going to a high school for designing clothes, yet for the half of this year, I was spending it thinking I wanted to do fashion business because I wanted to kind of not be a starving artist, but after what my school calls a portfolio day, after colleges reviewed my work and told me that I had the ability to study fashion, that I should go for it, it gave me a lot of hope and confidence to actually pursue it. I feel the most true to myself when I'm sewing rather than designing. For me, sewing, it feels so at peace that you really look inside yourself you know it's very meditative and designing you're requiring a lot of brain power you don't really think as much as i do when i'm sewing i struggled the most with my identity when i transferred into my new school because i transferred in pretty late i felt like very alone and like everyone kind of had their own friends wet when i was just floating so I feel like design actually helped me find my identity because it set me apart from these people and people started to recognize me for my work and started coming up to me because they saw that I liked what I did. project I had actually been inspired by Iris Van Herpen's use of biochemistry to make a fully sustainable collection. As a teenager in this day and age I feel like we're all more aware of where our clothes come from so knowing that clothes are made in not the best conditions and come at a cost of human rights, I feel like that inspires me in wanting to make fashion more not only accessible and affordable, but also without the cost of people's livelihoods. Going to a school in which everyone is designing towards the same thing, it kind of feels like you're blending in to everyone else and you have no sense of self. Yet when you try and find things that make you unique and implement them into your work, it really shows you who you are and what you want to be. If I were to describe myself with one word, I would describe myself as passionate. My name is Maria Lorenzo. I'm 18 years old. Karate gives me a sense of identity because this is where I feel most comfortable, most safe. I feel surrounded by good people and it's taught me a lot about myself and who I am and it's helped me become the person that I've become to this day and it's helped me achieve a lot of the things that I've accomplished in my life by giving me confidence and giving me a place to be myself. Throughout middle school I tried other sports like volleyball and track and field but they never ended up working out. I always stayed with karate and I think what stuck out from karate that made me decide that that's what I wanted to stick with is the sense of family that I've developed throughout the years. Um, in my dojo, we're very close to everyone, from the big kids to the little kids to the coach. Um, we're all very tight-knit, and competitions were always a good, a good time. And being able to compete and being able to learn about myself and the world around me through karate just gave me an escape and that feeling that I had that I never experienced or anything else, that escape that karate gave me just made me feel like it was my place to be. It was, I felt like I belonged. When I was finishing my last year of high school, I didn't think that there would be much of a change starting college. And then I started college and everything did change. 
from my daily schedule to how much time I had for my own things. My schedule became more dynamic and hard to balance between my academic and my athletic stuff. Um, I feel like there is a little bit more pressure or expectations now that I'm this college adult and in regards to my sport, it's more pressure to whether you're going to stick with it and make it your career, make it your life, make it your, what you're going to do all the time or whether you're going to focus on your um, academic career, or professional career. What are you going to choose? I feel like that's the big question that everyone is making but I feel like I'm just figuring it out as I go and I have time. My biggest takeaway from being a teenager now that I'm 18 years old is that everyone's figuring it out. Just because you're not where you want to be it doesn't mean that you're behind. Everyone else is also figuring it out and finding their own path. You don't have to be at the speed of anyone else, slower or faster. You, have, you can be in your own path and make your own lane and make your own rules. It's your life and everyone else is going through the same things even if you think they're not. Using one word to describe myself feels like just putting myself in a box. Hi, my name is Anissa and I'm 18 years old. I would attribute the majority of my personality to art, specifically music and film. Um, I think songs that I related to, characters that I related to, I would tend to take traits from their personality and kind of implement them into my own. But in little ways, little things like, I don't know, Lady Bird, she paints her nails purple, I would paint my nails purple. I think for a while, specifically my sophomore year, I really struggled with my personality. And I don't want to say I still struggle with my personality, but I will say I'm still finding myself. Or I don't like to say finding myself, but rather like I'm still building myself. And I think I will continue to build myself until the end of my time. I don't think there was a single turning point in my life when I decided, oh my God, I want to make movies for a living. I think it was a progression. Growing up, I was always attached to the camera. I was always in front of the camera, behind the camera. I was always finding innovative ways to film things. You want to be an actress, right? You gotta get used to the camera. <laughs> um, I first started as a YouTube video maker. YouTuber. That was my first, like, career that I wanted to pursue in that realm. Elizabeth. Hi, guys. I'm Elizabeth. I'm a judge. Identity in terms of my morals my passions, my goals, for the most part remain consistent, but there are things that fluctuate, things that I want to wear, ways that I want to express myself, um, whether that's through fashion or through my art or the music that I want to listen to. That all kind of changes on a day-to-day -day basis, and I don't think I need to stick to uh, that one. And I think that doing so has helped me kind of liberate myself and liberate my identity and be my true self. And I think as well that I'm still continuing to not find myself but build myself, continuing to build my identity, continuing to be the person that I am more and more every day.